we have a convergent plate boundary over here on the left side. So here we have ocean colliding with ocean. Uh, and so we can see that collision with those arrows that are coming into each other. One thing you'll note where that collision actually occurs, i.e. the red star, is one of the things is that's where you'll find the trench. Uh, so the deepest part of an ocean, a trench, uh, is found where that collision actually occurs uh, as the one plate is forced underneath the other plate. One of the other things you'll notice further in, uh, because that lithosphere is going down and poking into the asthenosphere, eventually once it pokes into that asthenosphere, all that water, all that material, essentially starts bubbling and starts gurgitating, uh, as gurgitating, whatever that means, uh, as it essentially gets heated up by the warmer asthenosphere. And so that heat uh, and all that material then is what triggers and creates the magma that then goes up and creates these island arc features that are also quite parallel to that ocean trench. But notice that these uh, island arcs aren't right where that collision is occurring. It's a little bit further away, and that makes sense because of what's being being occur what's occurring uh, down there at the asthenosphere and lithospheric le levels. This here illustrates subduction there in Indonesia on the island of Sumatra. So get out your map and look at where Sumatra is, and you'll see that this is actually an example of an island arc. I know it looks like an ocean meeting a continental landmass, but this is an ocean and ocean plate collision. One thing you'll note is that trench that we find over here on the left-hand side of this image, we can see that trench, and that's where the collision's occurring. But one thing you'll note is water combined with debris and all of that material that's getting forced underneath uh, the denser, heavier plate eventually gets and pokes down into the asthenosphere where it gets cooked. Uh, it gets heated up, and eventually that, uh, that magma wants to be released. And as that magma water, all of that material uh, eventually is critical to understanding, well, what forms and creates this magma, which then creates these island arcs further inland. Another way to showcase uh, the island arcs are the Caribbeans. Uh, and so here we have a plate collision, the Atlantic plate colliding with the Caribbean plate, and thus creating an island arc. And that island arc is clearly visible here. So the black line with the triangles illustrates where uh, the collision is occurring. And so there's where we would find uh, an ocean trench. Not a majorly deep one like we would find in the Pacific, but still an ocean trench. But if you notice the red dots, which illustrate where we see volcanoes and the island arcs, are actually a little bit further away uh, from that collision. Uh, and so we note, just by the location of the island arcs in respect to that collision, uh, that the plate is moving, in this case, towards the direction the triangles are pointing to uh, the west. Uh, and so we can see that plate collision and then subsequent island arcs that are created that run almost directly parallel to that convergent uh, boundary, to that area of, of convergence and collision. In the Caribbean, you had an ocean and ocean uh, plate collision. Here, we're now going to look at an ocean and a continental plate collision. We still have a trench that's developed. In fact, many of the deepest trenches, the deepest parts of the oceans of the world, occur where we have an ocean plate colliding and subducting underneath a continental plate. This is key to understanding the volcanoes that we see along the west coast of the United States, and so Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens is a very famous uh, volcano that erupted uh, before a lot of you were born, uh, but nonetheless will probably erupt again uh, here sometime shortly. Uh, and it's key to understanding, well, what's causing it is we have subduction in which we have the Pacific Plate, which is going underneath the North American Plate. So the Pacific Plate being an ocean plate, and the North American Plate, of course, being a continental plate which goes along with the Andes Mountains as well. The Andes Mountains uh, are due to subduction of the Pacific Plate going underneath the South American Plate. And we'll note the plate boundary. We can see that that's actually off the coast there where we see a deep, deep trench, uh, but the Andes Mountains are there uh, to the east uh, of that plate boundary, indicating that we know the Pacific Plate is converging into, uh, going from the west to the east, converging into the South American landmass. This here is a very cool video uh, that shows what the floor of the ocean looks like. Something that actually we really didn't know much about until uh, we had the various techniques, instruments that can actually visualize what's way deep, way deep, way uh, below us. And so what this here is going to show is the Atlantic Ocean. So we're looking at the continental slope on the left-hand side. And this is the idea here. You can see that mid-ocean ridge uh, that comes right through the middle. And so the deepest part of the Atlantic isn't right there in the middle like you would think. And here we see that mid-Atlantic ridge that I've talked about before being highlighted here in red. Uh, and so this massive, 
massive uh, ridge of, of, of separation, this massive uh, seafloor spreading that goes all the way down here and even further uh, you know, to the other side uh, of, of the South Atlantic Ocean. Now we see the deepest part of the ocean uh, any, anywhere on Earth. That's the Mariana Trench. Uh, so it's where we have plate convergence, one plate sliding on, on, underneath the other one. Uh, here's the East Pacific rise, and so a key to understanding, well, what causes, what's causing the Pacific plate to collide with South America? It's the East Pacific rise. Uh, now we're going to zoom in. This is kind of funny, I guess. This is where the Titanic is, three point some kilometers below uh, the surface, uh, the uh, ocean surface. Uh, now we're going to look at, the, here's that mid-ocean ridge again. Here's Iceland. Um, so here's where we have separation, but of course separation, we can also find volcanoes. 